Good morning, Hurricanes. I'm Sarah Davidson. And I'm Lila Vargas. Coming up, we're going to be looking at some upcoming testing days, some clubs around school, tips to survive Comic Con 2018, and a special behind the scenes look at play previews. Now, let's get started, Hurricanes. ASVAB test registration is open now until November 26th. The test is going to take place on November 30th. ASVAB testing has testing areas similar to the SATs and ACTs. And a few weeks after the test, you can attend a special session to assess your scores and some future career field options for you. If you're interested, you can sign up in your counselor's office today. Kane will be having a special session for freshmen only to help you get a better score in your PSAT test. It will be in the LGI from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. on September 20th, so be sure to go. And now we go to River with some tips on how to survive Comic-Con. Hi, I'm River Halloran, the Special Story Manager for Kane Live. It's almost October, and that means it's almost time for NYCC, or New York Comic Con. Which is why today I've decided to talk about ways to prepare and save money if you're planning on going to Comic Con. One of my favorite podcasts is the Fandom Podcast, a safer work show from across the fandomverse. Every week they share some geek news and then discuss something from their favorite fandoms. They have talked about their experiences at San Diego Comic Con multiple times, whether it's about panels they've seen or actors and artists they've met. Time and time again they stress one big point, shoes. When you're at Comic-Con, you're almost constantly walking or standing in line, so you want to wear comfortable shoes. One thing I recommend is buying shoes a couple months in advance and breaking them in before it's time for the con. One huge way to prepare is to pack right. You want to pack light, but you still want to have the essentials. Water bottles, snacks, and a cell phone charger are all must-haves. A comfortable bag is preferable. One of my favorite parts about Comic-Con is the cosplay. Walking around surrounded by my favorite characters from shows, movies, and video games. But if you plan on cosplaying, be prepared. Remember that you're going to be in costume for hours, if not all day. So if it's uncomfortable or hot, you'll have to deal. If you don't plan on cosplaying, it's cool to compliment others on theirs. They put time and money into looking awesome. And be respectful if they don't want to take a picture. Comic-Con is expensive, but there are a couple tricks you can use to save money. The biggest thing is to plan. The first thing to plan for is where you're staying. One of the biggest expenses when it comes to conning. Hotels closest to the convention are most expensive, at which reservations are booked by a lottery system usually starting in April. Hotels further away often are cheaper and often still have convention discounts. Parking spaces are almost always limited at Comic-Con and are also distributed by a lottery system. The gas lamp corner is almost exclusively premium. The cheaper route is public transportation. Comic-Con does provide a free shuttle that runs to all area hotels. If you're going to SDCC, you can take the San Diego trolley system, which allows you to have more hotel options and is cheaper. Lastly, another big expense is food. Food will be more expensive in and around the convention. Prepare beforehand and search up some local restaurants and know where you want to eat before you go. A cheaper and more efficient way is to pack a lunch beforehand. Those are my tricks for calling like a pro. I recommend you check out the Fandom Podcast on Google Play for free. Other than that, I'm River Halloran, and I'll see you next time. Thank you, River. Klein King Choir will be performing at the Houston Rockets basketball game coming up this October 9th. This will be the choir's first ever national television performance, so be sure to come out and support our Hurricanes. Klein King Wrestling will be having a car wash fundraiser on October 20th from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. It will be at the station car wash and lube in Glenlock Farms. It will help with everything that the wrestling team needs, so be sure to go. And now we go to Naya with a look at the week's weather. This week was mostly sunny with the temperatures rising to the high 90s and dropping down to the low 70s. Going into this week, there's expected to be some showers. And on that note, students, don't forget to dump out any filled water and corn proof your pools to prevent the spread of diseases and mosquitoes. That's all I have for you today. Back to you guys. Klein King Theater's first play of the year, Play On, premiered yesterday with two more performances today and tomorrow. They're going to have three total performances of this play within a play, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, all at 7 o'clock. If you're interested, tickets are $7 and can be bought at KleinKaneTheater.net or at the door. We hope to see you there. Now we go to Wilson with a special look at the behind the scenes of play previews.
Play previews is a way for us to show and give the students a little sneak peek of the new show that we're working on. Um, my favorite part about play previews is probably just performing in front of, of my friends out in the audience and like getting like the word out that there is an upcoming play. My favorite part about play previews is the excitement before the first show tomorrow. My favorite part about play previews is seeing the audience's reaction for the first time to the different jokes and um, elements of the show. My favorite part about play previews was listening to the audience react to what I had uh, said. My favorite part about play previews is that all the students get a chance to see our production and if they like it they can come see the whole show on the actual show date. And now let's go to Alfonso and take a look at this week's sports. Last week the Klein Old Panthers took on the Klein High Bearcats at Klein Memorial Stadium. Today the, Cl the Klein Kane Hurricanes will be taking on the Klein High Bearcats at Klein Memorial Stadium. Let's get them, Hurricanes. Thanks, Alfonso. Well, Hurricanes, that's all we have for you today. I'm Sarah Davison. And I'm Ada Vargas. We'll see you next week.